What's up guys, it's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Heart Gold Soul Silver walkthrough. Okay, so in our last episode, we went through the dreaded route 15 through 14. Got faked out by that lady right there, yeah, her, about getting a trade. Instead, we got a, we got a lucky punch. Yeah, we got a lucky punch. That's, and that's annoying. Yeah. Anywho, we're going to be going through Route 13 because, well, we're going to be continue, continuing our little, uh, our little adventure right here. You know, this, this whole, uh, this whole troll of an adventure. Okay, so let's go right ahead and start battling everybody right here. Anywho, like I said, in the last episode, we, we thought that we were going to get ourselves a, an Aerodactyl, but, you know, of course, good old Draven has not played this game in quite some time. He thought. So, yeah, this is, a uh, you know, the remakes, they changed that all up. I do believe that you can get yourself a... I, I, I think you can. You can get yourself, uh, what was it called, uh... You can get yourself the fossils, if I'm not mistaken. I think... Now, I'm, like, I'm trying to figure this out. Like, if you can... You, you, can, you can get the fossils, I think. I could be wrong. I don't know. Comment down below, guys. So, let's go ahead and battle some more trainers. Speed training, as always, and extra sensory is going to get super uh, it's super strong because we gave the choice specs to Togepi. And there we go. Camper Tanner has been defeated. Alrighty. So, yes, we're getting some phone numbers and everybody else is in between. Yes, I know. We are the most popular person in the world. And, well, one by one, everybody's going to be going up against. And, well... <sighs> Let's go right ahead and go with an ancient power right here. And look at that. Yes, Togepi kicking some butt, taking some names. And yes, many of you guys already know that this area, including the next route, it's just, it, it's not one of my favorites because, you know, we have to go through so many trainers. And I think that in Generation 4, they lessened the Pokemon. They kept the trainers, but they lessened the amount of Pokemon they have. There were some trainers that had like five, six Pokemon. And I'm like, what the heck? that kind of thing and well here we going up against a needle king and just like that yes togepi is kicking some butt taking some names and well we are taking on a slow king right here let's go right ahead and switch it out to our good old buddy fluff Volt and discharge this thing and there we go and magic arps coming up why would you have a level 65 magic arp that is my question why we oh my god Okay, so that right there is like the single-handed... It's single-handedly the most powerful Pokemon we've taken on so far. Level 65. How in the heck do you do that? Okay, so we're going to be speeding up, battling some trainers. And this guy's talking about his Pikachu pack. Okay, so we got to be careful with this guy. And, you know, we're going to be taking on Pikachus just like that. And hopefully we don't get hit again. And Dark Side grows to level 53. Of course, we're trying to get our Pokemon to level 55. That way, it could evolve into a Tyranitar. So let's go straight for it. And there we go, Pikachu again. And yes, it keeps on growing some levels right there. So let's go ahead and heal up our Pokemon. And let's go straight for a full heal right here, or not a full heal, but a, a revive and a full heal, a full restore. Alright, let's see. What's next? I think there should be something right here. It's a large formidable. Go right here. We found ourselves a calcium. You would think that we had already got this back in uh, Leaf Green, Fire Red. And, well, we're going to be taking on some more trainers. And this time, it's a double battle. So, here we go. Taking on two Pokemon at once. And, let's see. Let's go with that. Let's go with an Earthquake. And it hits everybody except Togepi, and just like that, the winning combination. And yes, we're getting phone numbers from everybody. So let's go right ahead and battle some more trainers right here. So there we go. And this guy has a Farfetch, so let's go with an Extra Sensory. And just like that, Extra Sensory is kicking some butt, taking some names. We're growing some levels. Togepi, you know, back in, you know, a few episodes ago, wasn't even that strong. And, well, shoot, now it's gotten strong. It's gotten to a point where, like, okay, now it can fend for itself. So let's go with an ancient power. And this guy is not going down. And everything, all its stats has increased in the third one. Okay. And, well, as you guys can see, yes, I am trying. I am trying to level up my Togepi to level 45. And it's the only Pokemon that doesn't have a championship yet. And, well, here comes a Fero. I'm not going to risk that. So let's go straight for our Flood Volt right here. 
and go with a not a wow. And well, we should have done discharge, but you know it is what it is, and just like that we win. Holy crud! Alrighty, so let's go straight for your full restore, and there we go. Let's see what else we can actually find. I think we can find a... No, that's not an item right here. Nope, just a formidable tree. Alright, so here we are at Route 12. We're going to be finding some more trainers, especially with some uh, water-type Pokemon. This guy doesn't have a level 65 Magikarp. And, yes, it's going to be a slow and steady battle because the... Yeah, okay. Never mind. And, of course, he's going to be wanting our number because, well, yeah. Anywho, let's see. What else can we find? Another place that we can cut. That will be an item that we'll be needing a little bit later on. So we will be going there and again, battling some trainers. And this guy does have himself a friggin' Gyarados. Okay, so. Wait, we have no moves? What the hell? Wait, we have struggle? What the hell? Oh, wow. What the hell happened there? I didn't even realize that. Okay, so here we go with the swift attack. Didn't even see that coming. Okay. Coming out with a Gyarados. Okay, this would have been perfect for for one of our Pokemon right here. So let's go straight for a Discharge. This guy did it right. He actually evolved all his Magikarp to Gyarados. So this is good. This is light. I like this. Okay. Okay, so I didn't see that coming. So what we're going to be doing right now is... I'm going to heal my Pokemon because holy crud. I didn't know that we went through the struggle phase. Hold on, let me see. Holy buckets! Did we use every single every single thing? Hold on, let me see. How did it go? How did it get struggle? Nah, come on. Okay, that that right there is a god dang lie. Okay, so yeah, let's go ahead and heal up our Pokemon. And well, maybe just maybe just I don't know what the hell happened there. That that right there was a. I want to say it was a glitch. I think we just witnessed a glitch, guys. So let's go with that. And go with that, and let's see, um, an ether, this one, okay, so let's go ahead and give that to, not, not this guy, but this guy, ancient power, there we go, okay, so, there, we won't get hurt by any of that stuff again, and this guy probably has an electric type Pokemon, so let's go right ahead and switch out to Darkseid, our most powerful Pokemon just yet, and I don't know what he just said, so, no, he doesn't have... Okay, so he has bird types, and there we go. We're going to continue on with the rock slides, and just like that, we win. Now, if you go straight into this house right here, you're going to meet this guy. He's like, I'm the fishing girl's younger brother. You seem to like fishing, am I right, or am I right? People say I have king eyes. Yes. Yes, yes, just as I thought. Here, fishing fan, take this super rod. And there it is. We got ourselves a super rod. And try your hand fishing in anywhere. Remember, you can catch different Pokemon depending on the rod you use. So that right there will give us more powerful Pokemon to actually capture, especially in the water. And, well, for, before we get to Lavender Town, let's go here. And, well, let's go straight into Route 11. Now, in Route 11, this is a place where you can actually go straight to Vermilion City. But as many of you guys already know... Vermilion City is blocked off because of a uh, because of a pesky uh, what was his name uh, a pesky Snorlax which we will be capturing later on and this guy is learning Stone Edge holy crud okay so Stone Edge let's see Stone Edge is a very powerful Pokemon okay so you know what we're gonna take away Rock Slide and here comes an execute so let's go continue on with our battle right here. And, well, if you guys haven't figured it out, yeah, this episode is more training. More training by the day. We got one more level before we evolve our Pokemon right here. And that's probably the goal. And, you know, eventually we want to evolve Togepri into its, to its final form. But we have to find a stone. And, well, there could be a lot of trainers here. So let's go ahead and see if we can use a repel. Let's see. Let's see. Right here. How many repels do we have? And uh, okay, so we got quite a few repels and let's go right ahead and battle some Pokemon and grab some items. No, not that. Here we found ourselves the TM86 Grass Knot. A nice move. And it's all weight based, uh it's a weight based attack. And well here we are taking on Sandslash. And Sandslash is gonna look pretty good and look at that, level 45. So let's go ahead and switch out our Pokemon. Let's go straight for Fluff Bolt. Fluff Bolt, Discharge Attack. 
for the win, and we get stomped. Yes, you got stomped, homeboy. Let's go right ahead and take this guy on. No cheating in Pokemon, and he wants to keep it fair and square. All right, let's go. Bring it. And, well, let's go right ahead and go with a fly attack. I'm still trying to figure out why, like, why we got the struggle. I don't know what the hell happened. If anybody can comment down below and explain to me what happened, then, you know, that'd be great. Okay, so that is done. And we're going to be taking on this guy. And, well, let's go with a fly attack, as many of you guys already know. There we go. And... And it's doing it again, me, me first, and yes. Fidel Castro has been defeated. And what happens if we go down here? Oh, look at that. Okay, so there's a secret path, and this is Vermilion City. We're officially in Vermilion City. And we find ourselves the Sticky Barb. Now, there is something right here that we need a Pokemon with Surf to do. Which we will be taking care of later on, because, you know, there's some items that we need. So, as you guys can see, Snorlax is in the way. We won't be able to do anything about that. So now that we've completed this area right here, let's go right ahead and move up north. Now, we do have a few battles. Type type battles and all that stuff, so let's see. Hmm. Let's go with Floodvolt, and let's get Cinder in the mix. I kind of want to have more level 50 Pokemon, so this is a possibility right here, so... Let's go right ahead and do this, and we're taking on a Magmar and a Sunflora, so let's go Signal Beam, and let's go with a, you know what, Let, okay, so you know what, we could do this. Let's go, do, 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 Signal Beam to this guy, wait, hold on, Signal Beam to this guy, and not that, but roll out to this guy, okay, there we go, Flamethrower hits us, there it is, and... There it is, Signal Beam finishes it off, and just like that, we win. See? We're, we are a great Pokemon trainer. Alright. Let's see what happens. Um, well, we still gotta heal up our Pokemon right here, so let's go right ahead and do that. Um, do, 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 do. Full heals. And... Let's go right ahead and just press that button continuously. And talk to this guy, he feels content, and... Well, we're going to be going up against a Quagsire. Obviously, it won't be affected by any of our Electric-type moves. And our Pokemon has fallen asleep. So let's go right ahead and go straight to Togepi. Going up against a Quillfish. And that right there takes care of that. And, well, let's go right ahead and give Togepi a little bit more loving right there. And, oh my god, we almost, we almost fainted right there. Holy crap. Okay, so there it is, guys. We defeated another Fisherman. Okay. So let's see, who's next? Like Goldbrick says, who's next? And here we go. And I completely forgot that we're still asleep. And yes, come on, wake up. There it is, and there you go. And we get hit by a future side attack. So here we go, discharge for the win. And there it is. Okay, so I think we're at the tail end of this whole thing right here. So let's go ahead and just speed battle through all these trainers. As many of you guys already know, this place full of trainers and you're well yeah you're um you're what you might call it your uh yeah your pokedex is going to increase like the, the amount of pokemon you've seen is going to increase right here and let's see this is let's see fishing spot it's called the silence bridge because everyone walks in a tippy toe to avoid scaring a water type pokemon oh that makes sense and here is the final trainer he's asking me do i remember and I don't know why I did flash, and well, let's go with the charge beam, and let's continue on right here, charge beam, for the win, and level 47, coming with a quillfish, charge beam, for the win, and just like that, we win, alrighty, and he wants to give us his number, so that's pretty cool right there too, and well, here it is guys, we have finally made it to Lavender Town, okay, there is a... Like, there really isn't a lot to talk about in Lavender Town, okay? Lavender Town used to be this dreary place. It has its own radio tower. And, uh, well, let's see. What else can we actually find? This is the Lavender Town Volunteer House, which it actually, ha actually helps out abandoned Pokemon. Can you believe it? Some people get bored and taking care of Pokemon. Grandpa takes, good, uh, takes in such poor homeless Pokemon and takes care of them. 
And then Mr. Fuji does live here, but he's away now. He should be at the House of Memories. Now, there used to be the Pokemon Tower where you actually find some, you know, ghost type Pokemon. And yeah, that got that actually got changed by a radio tower, a radio tower. And well, if you talk to this lady, Lavender is tiny, quiet town, and at the foot of the mountains, it's gotten a bit busier since Radio Tower was built, which is true because, well, there's, you know, there's a lot, well, it's econ it's economics and all that stuff. And as you guys can see right here, this is the official name raider. He will actually change up your, your nicknames if you need them. And the final spot right here happens to be where Mr. Fuji is at in the Pokemon House of Memories. Here he is. Welcome. Hmm. You appear to be raising your Pokemon in a kind, loving manner. Those who love Pokemon come here to pay their respects to Pokemon. Please, a please pay homage to the spirits of Pokemon. I'm sure that will make them happy. And well, there re again, there really isn't uh, a lot here in Lavender Town. I mean, if you look at this, this is basically where dead Pokemon lie. And if you talk to this guy, people come from all over the world to pay their respects for Pokemon. Now, there is one little thing we need to do. And, well, let's go right ahead and go here. Now, there is a power outage in Johto. And this guy right here running around is... Oh, no, no, no! We've been off the air ever since the power plant shut down. All my efforts to start this station would be wasted if I can't broadcast. I'll be ruined! So... Yeah, we can't really do much right now, but since we are close to the mountainous area and close to the power plant, I think we got I think we got this covered. So stay tuned, guys. In the next episode, we will be doing a lot more, battling people, grabbing some stuff, and uh, yeah, you know, taking care of business and stuff. So thank you guys again for watching. I'll see you guys next time.